Alright guys, Matt here, and just want to talk to you guys uh, for a second about LiPos, uh, particularly LiPos for um, one eight scale armor vehicles. Now as I've mentioned before, um, this LiPo right here, this SPC6S LiPo is a good LiPo for all around running uh, with my armor vehicles, you know, it seems to do pretty well. You know, in the past I've used uh, Traxxas LiPos. Uh, these are the longer length, the 155 mil, oh, millimeter, the 155 millimeter length. Um, these are the older style too. And these are the style that just have the straight up uh, Traxxas connector on them. I also have a couple of the newer style, which are. Of course, you can't find them right here. Some of the newer style. This is the newer style um, with it with the newer ID on it. The 155 uh, millimeter length seems to fit in the in the tray really nicely, um, and here's the specs on it in case you want to take a look. Uh, one thing I will say about these Traxxas light bulbs is they seem to be underrated for for the power that this bug for the power that the buggies and the truggies are putting out. Uh, the power system in that armor Creighton, uh, the Typhon, the uh, Talion, and the Centon it just seems really hungry for a lot of juice, so. What I did was I uh, looked around and I was actually talking to uh, Vasco from Aussie RC Playground. There's your uh, shout out Vasco. I have to give you a huge thanks on this because it was primarily thanks to him that I decided to buy this battery. He gave these batteries a pretty good recommendation. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what I decided to get. Um, this is a Turnigy uh, Heavy Duty 6S uh, 5000 milliamp hour LiPo. Um, and it is a huge LiPo battery. But it does fit in the tray, so that is, <laughs> it's important, and I wanted to put that out there that if you wanted to buy this battery, it's affordable. I mean, it's sort of affordable. It's under $100, and the uh, the, the discharge ratings look pretty good. Uh, 60 to 120 C. I'm assuming 60 C constant, 120 C burst, which is pretty impressive. That's up there with uh, max amps, uh, for instance. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut now. I'm going to show you the, this battery in the two different vehicles and show you that it does fit. I have not put any leads on this yet. It is going to get uh, Dean's ultras, Ultra Plugs, but I'll go ahead and cut now. I'll show you what it looks like in uh, the Typhon and in the Talion. Be right back. Alright guys, so first up um, is the Arma Typhon. Um, I'm just going to say it one more time for uh, those of you that don't know, this is probably one of the best 1 8 scale buggies for the money. Um, this can be had at times uh, from TowerHobbies.com for under $400 shipped with uh, 6S capability and a lot of fun, a lot of durability. It's one of the best buggies. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to stop talking. I'll tell you what, it's one of the best buggies that's, that you can get for the money. But what I, what I wanted to show you was the fact that the 6S LiPo that I just showed you guys is in here right now. It does sit in there. Okay, It takes the entire tray. And it does look like the leads in the back might be kind of exposed. I don't know. It's the other thing about running a soft cell pack, guys. Um, hard shell is best, but you know, good luck finding a, a hard shell, you know, for this price point and with this capacity. So let's try to take this off now. Let's see if I can get it out of here. One-handed, which should be a lot of fun. Doesn't even want to cooperate for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there you go. You can see. It does take up the entire tray, uh, pretty much. Now, the one area of concern is right here at the end. You notice that the way uh, Hobby King does these Turnigy LiPos, the leads come off the end here instead of going out the back like they do on my favorite LiPos from Traxxas. The reason I like those LiPos is because they come out here like this and they're all set. Um, these ones right here do not. So, so it is kind of an area of concern and kind of a pinch point. But there it is on the Typhon. Uh, give me a sec, I'll show you what it looks like on the Italian. Alrighty guys, and here is the Arm Italian. Once again, I'm going to give you the same uh, salesmanship pitch. Um, for the money, <laughs> this is an awesome truggy. Alright, uh, this is the Proline Badlands, I already showed you guys that. Um, very good tires to get for the car. Alright, let's take a look at the reason why we're here, okay? And it is exactly the same setup, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure most of you know that the ESC motor, steering servo, and the battery tray are the same across the 1.8 scale BLX line, with the exception of the Raider XL. Okay, they all share the same electronics, 
And the other thing that's different is the gearing. Um, I believe they all have the same um, spur gear and, just, and a different pinion gear, okay? But there it is once again, once again, once again for the record, I have not soldered my beans on yet, just because I'm nervous. Uh, the 6 cell lipo with so much energy in it, so I'm actually taking this one to the hobby shop, we'll see, let them do it, so. And once again, um, as far as the battery tray, it is 50 millimeters wide. It does take the entire tray, if not, then some. So if you have any issues with puffing, any issues with the battery expanding or swelling, um, then this battery is probably going to be useless. But, you know, we'll see. So I will check it out and report back to you guys. And once again, the only area that I'm concerned with is just right there. And I don't know, maybe I'll notch that area out just a little bit. Uh, once again, I'll keep you guys posted. So, but there it is. Uh, Turnigy heavy duty 5000 milliamp 6S lipo. Um, I cannot wait to see how this thing performs and how it does. And that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.